Hello everyone, my name is Ehsanul Haq and welcome to today's video by Crunchiness. Today we will be learning about 2D sketches on SOLIDWORKS. As you can see, 2D profile consists of points, lines, circles, arcs, etc. By profiles we mean closed loop shape that is drawn on a flat 2D plane referred to as a datum and is used to create 3D objects. By 2D plane we mean uh, the three planes, front plane, top plane or the right plane. And we are going to be talking about orientation of sketch. And SOLIDWORKS has three different orientations that is X, Y and Z. You will find this relevan relevant in future works of SOLIDWORKS. So it is Design sketching, corners of rectangle specified by user. By specified by user, we mean that uh, we have drawn this line on our own manually and rectangle corrected by software that is SOLIDWORKS has automatic correction features that corrects automatic lines horizontally and vertically. And let's talk about acceptable profiles. Here you can see closed loop which is closed, this has no opening in it or any gap created from lines, circles and arcs you can see closed loop is created by using lines circles and arcs and nested loop is uh, by nested loop we mean this kind of drawings and arrows uh, you can see here is a gap so this is an incomplete 2D sketch it cannot be converted into a 3D sketch or 3D object and overlap or extra segment here you can see this has been highlighted there is there is an extra line which is overlapping with another line so this should be avoided and by the basic tools of sketching you would find in the tool ribbon of SOLIDWORKS these features that is lines this one is circle this one is spine this one is rectangle this one is ellipse this one is polygon and more the most important to the object of SOLIDWORKS are lines and circles and arcs and fillets. You will find this whatever projects you are working on. We are going to be talking about trim which can be used to remove excess lines. We are also going to be talking about offset entities. Offset that can be used to duplicate profile either inside or outside the original. And here you can see there is an X uh, another tool ribbon which consists trim entities, convert entities, offset entities, mirror entities, linear sketch pattern. Let's talk about offset entities. Offset can be used to duplicate a profile either inside or outside the original. I know this can be hard to understand without seeing an example, but let me simplify it. For example, you have drawn a circle and you would you would want another circle over it or inside it now we can easily duplicate the circle using offset entities whether we would want a larger circle or a smaller circle which are coincident on the similar point or the same point the first circle was drawn ok guys so this was the first part of our today's tutorial of SOLIDWORKS Hope you have enjoyed it and if you have learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to us. Thank you.